taking no that's a promise, not a threat. Uppercut, season, no top, you stop breathing. What boxing is going to, you know, is going to curb all the Triple G talk? Because it was ha it happened all morning, all afternoon, yeah. you know, until until the evening, and then some, and then you know something else took over. And of course, that'll be the third and the final topic, which would be PBC. PBC, you know, Erickson Lubin and Sebastian Fundora in the main event. And before we get into that particular fight, which is now a new fight of the year candidate, you know, the undercard itself was not was not bad at all. Brian Perella, though, I, he must have angered somebody in his past life. <laughs> I'm sorry, but yeah, that dude the way he did to them. in his life. Yeah, like they they'll never give him a decision. Like I just don't see it no more. Like he just want to be an opponent. Like it it, I, I, it hurts to even say this. He's a victim. Yeah, he's the, yeah. Cause I, I, but, I, I, but, I but hold on, cause, but he's on prime time TV slot. So I don't know. Maybe it's a part of the game. <laughs> Yeah, because I mean, dude hasn't won a fight. This nigga. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just saying because because you, you I, I'm using the same logic, nigga, all across the board. Like that's how I do consistency, cops. I don't pick and choose when I want to use logic for shit. Like this, this nigga Perella is a real live victim in boxing. He like he's not even a victim of a circumstance like horrible. Like he's you just probably, a victim. You probably won that fight. Yeah. 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 Easily. Yeah. That was that was at least six rounds or four. Yeah, so, yeah, and, yeah, that's what I thought. And, and, and like I say, I mean, he's whatever he's doing. I mean, whatever is Roy's doing, like he's retaining Roy's trainings for the most, his teachings, and you know, like I said, he's just getting hard luck. Like he should have been Tony Harrison last year, and the Abel Ramos yep. part, he was winning until um, you know, until he just got caught late, and the ref was like, you know, stopping with like one second left. Jack Reese, hey, maybe, that's hard luck. That, now that's the game. See, okay, King P, and that's a perfect example of the game. That's the game right there. Like that's the game. Like that's the game. Like the game is G A M E. The game is the game. Oh, Adelaide yeah. Bird ate the fucking game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Perella, like I said, I, I, I fell for Perella too. I think the, all, the crowd knew that Calvin Salgado. I mean, didn't really show anything really that let me say. Oh, because I mean, I, and I was wondering because dude, dude's offense was anemic. Like you know, he pretty much he's decent, he, but. He, he, was getting jab, he was getting jabbed up, bro. Like that. Like, nah, cause he he had a decent right hand, like, but this yeah, wrong know. strategy and and I don't, he didn't look as a bad fighter because he was competitive and he caught Perella with certain shit. But and then Perella caught him with like that up that mean kind of up 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 he ate was like that busted his nose was like God damn. Like you know yeah. So, so yeah that was, was getting love yesterday. <laughs> yeah. You know, but yeah, Perella, like, honestly, like, honestly, they need a little Perella's competition so he can body them, so he can just get himself on the win column easily, because it's, uh, it seems like, you know, it seems like any type of prospect or former champion that this nigga's going to put in the ring with, like, they're like, you know, they, they do everything in his power to keep him from winning those fights. You know, like, like honestly, he should have won his last three fights. <laughs> like, yeah. you know, it, with anything, like, I mean, probably the only loss I would give him, you know, would probably be that Ugas loss and the Colazo loss that he had. Those were decisive. Like Ugas stopped him, and Colazo, you know, legitimately beat him by decision. I gave him those. Those, those are those should be his his actual losses, you know, and, and no draws. But yeah, so I, mean, I I feel for Perella in that one. I mean, like you know, like seventeen three and two is not a journeyman record, but and because he has fourteen KOs. But yeah, no, like he should. Dude should be. Dude should be like uh, on a on a. Like on a quest, like for another, he should be, like, he should be a, in the mix of things at 154. Yeah, no, yeah. but they, but PBC just like you know what, this is not, like PBC just I guess doesn't see him as that guy. You I, know? Hate to, I hate to say it, but they're making him out to be the damn the Mauricio Herrera for this era, yeah, with uh, her with pop, <laughs> yeah, with pop, yeah. Yeah, no, yeah, and, and it's a shit, and I fell for him too because I was like, yeah, Perella didn't lose that fight, like Salgado. I mean, Sagado will, will probably get the bigger fight because, like, he's a prospect, you know. And then, you know, and then, and then Sagado, Sag, I mean, he, he's not, he's not uh, someone that I say to take beatings, but he's someone that I think will probably take a loss probably in his. Talk, 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 he's not that. He's not that great. He steps up properly, yeah. 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 You know, but and then you know, but the are, are they judges? They judge his step ups properly. <laughs> right. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm gonna just start saying that because it's like. PBC draws is like on the rise again. 
it's yeah, like last it's year, no they're, 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 out. But they could sign on Toronto last year. But I mean, for the most part, it was you know you didn't see the classic PBC draw as much. They've been bringing them out. See, but uh, Castano Charlo was at least close enough where that's that's legit. Draw. I think you could argue six rounds for Charlo. I think you could. Yeah, you can't yeah. argue him winning, but. Even the fault argue six. Yeah, I mean, I don't like it. The fault and, and fault and figure. Yeah, no, no. You you could definitely argue six rounds for that. Like, I don't, Ooh. I don't think fault and one, but you could argue six rounds. Right. But yeah, that's that's the only two fucking fights, and and hint, hint, those are like two of the most competitively matched fights. So usually, when you find great fighters fighting each other, you get close fucking fights. Right. That's why and, the judges have to be better. Yeah, and yeah, and hopefully, hopefully, Perella, you know. Keeps as a chip on the shoulder and knocks somebody cold in this next fight. Like really, like, like that needs like like Roy like Roy probably needs to you know teach him some of his 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 triple left hooks combos and shit like that he used to do back in the day and like really get some of these niggas out of there. Like I, I think Chop it's some wood or, or something like right. <laughs> get some dude. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, you right. Uh, you got to start knocking motherfuckers out, getting some knockdowns because. Yeah, I don't like how these damn judges. Yeah, ju- 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 judges are not putting respect on his name, though. But that, that rapier, that that fencer jab he had, was just yeah. popping too hard to be losing. Mm. Right, exactly. You know, but yeah. at least, but but at least on on you know, you know, but at least it was good to see Tony Harrison actually, you know, look how he used to look, you know, before the losses. Like dudes boxing, you know. I mean, honestly, I thought it would be a harder fight. I mean, actually, I mean, yeah. I, mean I had Tony Harrison. Winning, but I thought, I mean, you know, no, I had Tony saying win, but I thought you would KO him, you know. But... Yeah, I was completely wrong about this. Tony Harrison impressed the fuck out of him. That's all I got to say. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> Tony, yeah, Tony you know, showed, like, I mean, like, like I said, you know, when his mind is clear. Yeah, you know, wrong about Tony, I'll say that. I didn't think he, didn't think he had it still left in him, but. Right, yeah, and Sergio Garcia. Thought you killed Tony. And the funny thing is, Sergio Garcia, like, I mean, he gave Fondura some problems, you know, but it, it seemed like Garcia got took apart by the boxer and then got frustrated and was fighting and then deteriorated. His, his boxing skills, like, deteriorated, like, immediately. Tony, yeah, it's like Tony just showed another level in the show while he was, you know, a former champ and blanked him out 12 0 then. <laughs> like, like, it was yeah. like 10 2, maybe. Yeah, like yeah and Garcia was just like, just started flailing and be trying to be rough. Like, I was like, he like, he couldn't, he, he, he forgot how to turn over his punches. I was like, hey, Nick like, went out the window. Yeah, like, all he could do yeah, was, like, was just follow him around with a high guard. Yeah, and Harrison, like the jabs, like everything was like it, it was solid. It was it was a boxing lesson, and I was hoping that Tony. Uh, but once I got back into round seven, I was hoping like please Garcia doesn't clip him with some shit, and, and Tony doesn't start tiring. But no, Tony showed showed the stamina, showed everything. Like, and that was a complete performance. And, and I think us, the stamina it, helped that Garcia wasn't putting enough heat on him to put his body under duress. Mm-hmm. So I don't know if the stamina completely improved, but it, it did what it had to do. Because right. remember when he was losing to guys like Nelson and her, like they put him under pressure, I even mean, though he was winning. I mean, that's the level of comp we expect. I mean, didn't we all pick Tony Harrison to win that? No, no I, I picked Garcia. I, I, I picked Garcia to win. Oh, you picked Garcia? Oh, I picked Garcia. I thought y'all picked. I thought all oh, y'all picked Harrison no. to win. Yeah, I picked Harrison by KO. And no, honestly, I, I picked Sergio. I picked Sergio. Uh, I picked. Oh yeah, I mean, I picked Tony decision. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. So yeah, you oh, got goddamn. <laughs> yeah. So I mean, but yeah, Tony. At least it was like at least now you show me like he's back in the mix. At least at one fifty four. At least he could do something as long Tony as his did. mind is clear. You know. But then his 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 post fight interview though was uh yeah Tony he be running his mouth man like Tony had some you know talking about his baby mother and shit like that like yeah bros he's a wild dude like, yeah, like yeah. he's <laughs> real. Yeah. He keeps it real. <laughs> yeah, he keeps it real. I mean, I mean, I've actually had cops. I mean, I roasted the fighter with him, so I, I, I know. Yeah, so yeah, dude. He, he's like, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> that, that probably, that probably was hilarious. Yeah, that, that's the, that's the, that's the one of my more cherished boxing memories. Like, me, like, of all the people, like me, me, like uh, actually roasting a dude and him and giving him like laughing and me laughing. Like that was respect right there. Like, you know, <laughs> so. Yeah, Tony. Yeah, Tony's actually he's good for 154. Like I said, man, because I mean, because he gets on the because he knows how to get on the niggas skin. And this was after he got into that little scrap at the at the conference with Luis Arias. So it's like, yeah, <laughs> nigga, really we all know who handles uh, Jared Hurd better. Yeah, I want to see Tim Zoo versus uh, Tony Harrison. That's a good fight. Oh, yeah, yeah fuck it. You, you, let's run it real quick. Hold on, Tony Harrison, Tim Zoo. Yeah, let's do that. 
Yeah. Well, who wins? Who wins? I don't say I, I still go to Tim because Tim I puts London under pressure. Yeah. Tim is a pressure. I go with that. Tim, but I I, I think uh, a Tony Harrison is what Tim Zoo needs right now. He needs that. Yeah, he needs that. that's perfect for him. I feel like. Agreed. Uh, Tim, no, no, Tony Harrison, Charles Conwell. Man, Conwell needs Conwell needs that kind of fight too. I I I have to pick Conwell too for that one. Ooh, okay. Conwell versus Zoo. Ooh. Uh, ooh. Uh, 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 I, I, I go with I go with I go with Conwell for a decision. Conwell on decision? Yeah. I think he's fast. I might go draw on that one. Fuck. That's a draw. Yeah, I, yeah. I will I, that, that's a PVC draw. Yeah. Yeah, I think I think I think I I am putting Conwell for the decision for this one. That'll be yeah, Damn, so. um, Tony Harrison against uh, Salgado. <laughs> <laughs> Tony, I, I mean, I think Tony would, would be Tony. Like, oh yes, yeah. T- Salgado is a little bit too uh, unpolished for for Tony at this point. Like, yeah, dude, yeah, dude, yeah, dude, dude won't be. Dude, Tony would probably box that dude's head off. <laughs> yeah, yes. Yeah, Yo, okay, let me ask you this, and then we move to the main event. If those run it back, run it back, Perella and Harrison, who you picking? Oh damn! <laughs> yeah, Harrison that we saw last night. I would pick him. Yeah, yeah. I will yeah. pick Harrison because I'm because I, mean, cause, cause I ain't even Harrison, mad at that. <laughs> yeah, because Harrison. I probably Perella, would too. <laughs> yeah, because Harrison Perella in the first fight, Harrison was mentally not where he needed to be. Like, dude, was still he was still grieving his father, yeah. and you know, and like, yeah, his mind was not on business, and Perella just happened to be on point mentally. So, yeah, and yeah, and Tony just, you know, his defense went out the window and got hit with all types of stupid shit. <laughs> so it's like, yeah, I mean, but yeah, but the Tony last night, yeah, would beat Perella for sure. That's 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 the that's the guy that came up in the that was coming up in the rank in, in the whole ranks and shit like that. That was yeah, because I do feel like Perella could have did a little more in this fight, but I still feel like he won the uh, six rounds to four. Yeah, but yeah. I, he could have put an extra couple stomps on it. Like it's one where I'm not overly mad at the draw. I mean, it's kind of eh, but it's not like it's like I'm not either because it's like I'm kind of just like accepting it now. Like like some niggas just gonna get fucked in the game. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, well, in that one, I, I mean, I was, I mean, I was, I mean, I was more disappointed in Tony Harrison because I was like, "What the fuck are you doing?" Because I'm watching yeah. this show, I'm like, "What the fuck are you doing?" Like, dude was really like, I mean, dude, dude was it was again hands putting him for like rounds, like multiple rounds at a time, and that's what shit that was like, like, and, and yeah, and I just hate like two two bad decisions in a row. It's like, come on, give me one, okay, we can live with one, because then the fighter could kind of have a career somewhat, but. Y'all trying to Devin Alexander do, and it's like y'all hurting the sport and and the division because you're losing a credible guy because right. y'all giving him too many undeserved losses. Right. And so now it's like like those are the type of guys that round out pay per view cars or um, events and shit and and be co mains. But now y'all y'all rob the man so much he's gonna be a fucking pay per view free view main event soon. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> yeah, he probably won't even closing it out. <laughs> Did you see what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> open that shit up or like, just like the, the fucking losses matter, bro. The bad decisions matter, man. Like, it, won't, it won't even be on TV. Shit, yeah. shit fuck yeah, like this nigga be on the YouTube fighting soon. Like <laughs> motherfuckers may as well do that. Just like, you get enough bad decisions in boxing, just quit. Get a YouTube account, become a YouTuber, and get your way back in boxing. <laughs> if somebody does that, I'll just be like, what the fuck? That's it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. So it's a main event, main event. I know y'all ready for this one. <laughs> oh, yeah. The main event, you know, Lubin Fondor, absolute. I mean, we all, like, we all indecisive. I think whole boxing Twitter was indecisive because it was so, it was such a 50 50 fight, you know, in the, in yeah, it, it, it was hard to pick, but we all but we all realized that it was a quality fight, and you know, and it lived up to it, and then some, man. Like, what fight, fight of the year? Fight. Fight, it was a fight of the year. Like, now, I mean, obviously, well, now did it, it take? Did it overtake uh, um, Wood and Colin? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> 
you know what? I could agree with them being equal. I won't. Yeah. It, it, the fight, you know what? Fuck it. Both fights were so good. If you pick one over the other, I don't even think we should argue it. Like, I no, wouldn't no. get mad or nothing. Like, because yeah. both fights had some crazy shit, man. Yeah, like, like it had, had crazy ebb and flow. I mean, both of them had a round of the years, especially, yeah, especially, um, uh, Ruben, Ruben and Fondora, like, honestly, it was, it was a mind fuck because it was just like, you know, Fondora is 6'6", six, six, Lubin is 5'8", and you niggas had an internal semantics battle about this shit, too. But, he did. Like, two times 5'9 and a half. <laughs> he, he's no, he no 5'10". Uh, I don't know. He might, he, he uh, might be. I don't, like I said, I have a picture uh, with him. I, I you know, because you you're 5'9". See, you're 5'9", and Lubin's 5'9 and a half. <laughs> it's just you want to be five ten so bad. You say no, no. I, I no. I only go because so the, last time, the last time I ever got, uh, I went to I got my height done was the doctor said five nine and a half. That's all. So yeah, so it, it, it is yeah. The, and I, I round like most people. Most people round when you get to decimals. Nobody uses point five. Nah, we don't. Nah, we, oh, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. I'm gonna get you. You motherfuckers talking about rounding, but y'all be the first nigga. Oh, I think that movie was a six point five. Oh, oh no, uh, no, not even that. I, I round my <laughs> I round my height, but then I I am a legit six three and a half. I do round my height, so. <laughs> I mean, I'm legit. Yeah, you five, yeah, 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 I don't round my height. You see, this is the thing. When once you're over six feet, we're all kind of cool with you doing that. You know, because you, you're already tall. Like when you a tall nigga could do that, but no motherfucker that showed it if you're gonna be rounding his height trying to be on my level. No, <laughs> just like just like I can't round my height to a motherfucker who's five eleven. Because five eleven, there's a difference. I know niggas who's five eleven, and they try to do that six feet shit all the time until a, a real motherfucker with six feet come and be like, "Nah, nigga, you five fucking eleven. It's an inch. It's an inch. It's not a big deal. Like." I don't know. It's, it's not a big deal. Up against height, but I mean, but, but, but I only do it because, like I said, like like I said, with most things, with most things, for when it's like decimals, that's how I was always taught. Like if something is, if you say something is like, like if I would have, like if I was five nine and a quarter, I would just say five nine because I'm not like you round down. If it's anything, anything below point five, you round down. Yeah, but no one, no one counts a quarter. Everyone counts halves in the full. Like if if, if someone's fucking. <laughs> Five nine and a half, or whatever, mo, or five seven and a half. I, I get it. Like no one's gonna fucking say, yeah, I'm five seven point two. Like nah, like come on, <laughs> <laughs> like like come on, you, you went you went from one extreme to the next. Like <laughs> that's pretty funny. Five, so Dude, that movie was an eight point three. Nigga, like <laughs> not worthy of an Oscar. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, but either way, the height disparity between the two it was very noticeable. Like, like, and and and, uh, and like we talked about earlier, man, Fandora, for as much uh, uh, the dude is blessed with height and an eighty-inch reach, and and uh, it fights at one fifty-four. He made the weight under one fifty-four, which is another thing I just can't shake my head because how he does it, <laughs> you know. But this dude, for whatever reason, loves to fight on the inside, likes to give up his advantages and fight on the inside and. And and the funny thing is too is like Lubin, I didn't think would actually you know would actually fall along, but Lubin did the same shit. Got inside. What did I, did I, did I, did I, did I tell y'all? I didn't did like I that. not tell y'all how this fucking fight was going to play out last week? Did I not? Did I not say if Lubin stays on the outside and attacks Fondura, he eats him up, he destroys him. The minute he gets on the inside, and stays on the inside, he's fooled. That's exactly what happened. Yeah, he kind of fought. Fandora, he fought from doors. Yeah, he fought from doors. Fight kind of like how fought and fought. Uh, I mean, I was doing better well fighting better. on the inside, but yeah. it was, yeah. he couldn't do too much of that at too too much of that at once. Should but, that's, that's, that's the problem. Should, 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 no matter how yeah. well he does on the inside, he still gets he still gives Fondora a chance and a momentum. That's why he shouldn't have done it at all. He should have kept it on the outside in the mid range. And he fought on the outside for. Not, hey, he was working the body. It's not like he didn't drop him. He was working. No, the body. but the problem was Lubin wasn't defensively responsible. And not Lubin, at all. It, it, not what at was all. disgusting about it was the amount of uppercuts that Fandora landed on dude. Like there was there was a point where Fandora spammed like five to seven uppercuts in a row. Yeah, it wasn't even it wasn't even uppercut season. It was damn near like 
uppercut yeah. year. Uppercut year. year. Decade. Right. I mean, he landed. He landed. He landed more. Fondora landed more uppercuts in eight rounds than most people do in eight years. Yeah, I'm serious. Like Fondora. Yeah, that's facts. That's facts. Yeah, yeah, Fondora had him look like a fucking jack in the box. Like, goo, 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 goo. <laughs> like yeah, I was like, yo, Lubin, like you can you can duck. And there was an uppercut that dropped him for the first time. In the, it was a, he dropped him for the first time, like, and he got up shaky. And you know, like you know, Evan, this is where the chinny thing came up. Yeah, but the, the chinny. Yeah. Those were allegations. Those were true. Sadly. Yeah, but the worst <laughs> thing. Or <laughs> the fucking news reporter voice said that shit. Like. <laughs> but the worst thing a chinny fighter can do in the ring is take extended okay. punishment. Like chinny fighters, like usually one punch you get them good. They you know they don't recover. Lubin did, but in the process, Lubin and Lubin took started taking a huge beating. Like he, he he gave it up. I mean, he gave it as much as he took, but it was getting to the point where his face got disfigured. Disfigured, like bro. That was uh, looking yeah. like Elephant Man, which which set up to how seventh round was so dramatic because Fondora was putting his foot in his ass, but then Fondora got his equilibrium like all fucked up with a right hook, and then Ruben lands. You know, you know, was killer combo. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, like I him. heard Ultra. I was like, oh, Ultra. Ultra. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then and then Fondora, in his words, he took a knee because he knew if he, he kept on getting you know standing up, he would have gotten ate up by those hooks that he was throwing. You know, and and they had bad intentions. And this is a nigga right now. He had a, he, his nose got flattened. He has hematomas. You know, but like, Lubin was hurt though. No, like, but Lubin. Was just too impatient. That's why I, I, it's something with the ring IQ. Because mm-hmm. for yeah. some reason, it seemed like the fight was just progressing too slow on the outside. But that's all you needed to do. Like he was going to the body. He was investing in the body, man. But it felt like the, it wasn't. It wasn't adding up. It wasn't making a tally. He was getting because you got to do more than just the body. When he would go to the body, he would stab to the top sometime to the chest, and he would piece dude up. And make dude come to him, but the thing is, Lubin wasn't circling it out. Like, there's too many performances of short guys beating the fuck out of tall dudes in a variety of ways to to lose so bad with all the skill and talent and attributes he has. Yeah, and, and, and that's <laughs> Cunningham was going crazy in the corner because he saw it. And he wasn't listening. Like he, he was yeah. Like, like dude, dude, dude was, a, dude was, you know, heard the Rocky music in his head. He was like, the only thing we heard was the doctor tell him, like, Lubin, are you okay? Yeah, sure. Oh, which version? Did, did he hear the OG Rocky? Did, did he hear the uh, MOP Jay Z? Did, did the Lube fiasco? Which one did he hear? Like, <laughs> <laughs> did, did, did the hot ones with, with, with the camera? Like. Yeah, yeah, dude. Yeah, you felt like he heard a mixtape of Rocky shit, like, yeah. <laughs> dude. <laughs> what you yeah. doing? Yeah, but after, but after that, after getting knocking Fondora down for the first time too. Yeah, Fondora just went back to work, and you know, I heard some. And funny things too, like I heard. I mean, the the probably the most accurate comparison was dude fought like a really a taller version of Margarita because this is how Margarita used to <laughs> eat up people, you know. Yes, regard. Yeah, but Lumen you know, was supposed to be Daniel Santos to his ass. Exactly, exactly. You know, but Lubin and uh, but things like that. You know, sometimes people don't know how to fight tall, lanky cats that don't. You know, that should be fighting in a higher division. Uh, and then you know, you get this and like Lubin. Like honestly, even like even at the end of the ninth round, like Lubin was done. Like you know, he was fighting back somewhat, but he was done. Like I mean, and then you know, Cunningham, you know, got up there and waved that shit off, and like and some after, people, nigga. Yes, you're a fuck nigga. Whoever threw that goddamn ice. Yeah, he did. <laughs> he fuck did. you. Yeah, like yeah, yeah, you had to like Lubin was like because Lubin entered the territory where his career was getting shortened, you know, by the by the minute, like you know, by the and, second all them damn uppercuts, bro. Yeah, like like I mean, dude took. I mean, like already like so. I, I just I'm just reading up there on his injuries. So the nose is definitely busted. Like, yeah. but, but the worst is that he has a separated shoulder. He had a shoulder injury too. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. so he has to go to surgery for the for the shoulder. Like he has to yeah, go. Yeah, to I surgery. just saw the picture when he was sitting down at in the, in the back. Man, that was, that was that's sad to look at, kind of man. <laughs> like, yeah, honestly, crazy. how he didn't have uh, orbital bone fractures or anything like that because uh, his his eyes were swollen. Like like I mean, 
like, yeah. like honestly, I wouldn't even let him on a fucking plane. Like, dude, like honestly, I, I, I'm yeah. surprised. Yeah, cause, cause that's how thoroughly he got beaten down by Fandora. Like it, it was sick. <laughs> and to be beaten down in a fight that is that competitive and good, it's just crazy. Like dude took like a Wolfgang Krauser whooping. Like I yeah. just like like you go to the next scene and he's like stuck in the wall type of beat. <laughs> oh, shout out to Joshua O. Hey, you seen? I know you seen all these damn fights, man. You tuned in late, man. What, what you thought about Fun a little bit? I know, right? What you thought about Super G and uh, and Murata and all of them? Something. Yeah, speak your piece in the comments, bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, man, but yeah, uh, Fun Dora uh, Okay, so hold on. There's one more controversy with this shit. Oh, you speak. motherfuckers that had Lubin ahead, explain yourself. Yo, yeah, they're, they're, honestly, I didn't see because he won. He was ahead by <laughs> he won. It's to me, I feel like he won. But it was awesome. <laughs> I mean, it could be like you know, close either way. Like you know what I mean? Like I would uh, have to do one part or two because uh, he probably was. I mean, I mean the, the scores. I, 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 it's funny because before I was gonna post in the in in the Twitter chat that I was like these scores are gonna be all over the place because I could see so many ways this could be scored. But Lubin was up on all three, right before the stoppage. Yeah, Lubin yeah. was winning on all three. On all and three. all three, those judges were hard. Around, though, that one around. Or actually, do because I mean, at, 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 well, when they stopped it, I think they only count, they only counted the scores on the completed rounds, the eight rounds. The ninth rounds, if they if they added this, because you know, they have the judges always score partial rounds. So Lubin with the with was had a two scores of 85, 84 from two of the judges and a draw on the other one. So Lubin was still ahead. Um, you know, I mean, that's, he was still, ahead. that's still bad. Yeah. So it, it, I don't think that there was not one point like Lubin was losing the ring generalship battle. First of all, he was no matter what he was doing. He was getting pushed back, going to the ropes. He couldn't stand his ground. Whenever he would push Fondora back, that's when he was at his best. Like, mm-hmm. it, he needs to be like, look, any dude who's in great shape and has above average defense, there'll be problems for Fondora. You see him fucking Sergio Garcia just fucking go the distance with dude. Yep. And then look, he just got shall- uh, Shalaki from Tony Harrison. Right. So, I mean, I know I'm not just, I know apples, oranges, whatever the fuck, but dude, <laughs> Lubin, he had to just win this fight off of offense. He didn't even need to have defense for this fight. If he would have just been trained to just throw punches and just murk this dude, because anytime he let his hands go, Fondora would freeze because he's absorbing the punches. See, Fondora doesn't have good reaction time no he doesn't he's one of those tall dudes where if you don't bounce past him the ball under the bucket he might fuck it no. up <laughs> the ball might go between his fingers and he'll go out of bounds but if you don't <laughs> pass it to him and let him set and jump and go up oh that's easy buckets all day i mean i mean just i mean just, I mean, just look at his reaction to the right hook he took that that knocked his whole shit loose like dude like he got hit and dude started slowly walking back in with his hands down and that's Thank why you. Was able to, that's you why lubin, this shit. yeah that's why lubin was able to land them fades he was landing and drop them and we've seen this in spurts so ready so far gallimore had him hurt like dudes be legit buzzing him. lubin had him hurt like three or four times or even more like Jamonte Clark. Jamonte Clark had Jamonte, him. Yeah, had him, yeah. Yeah. And Jamonte Clark actually has a case of actually beating him. Yeah. You know? <laughs> so it's like, you know. He legit got a case and but but that's the thing. Like, if 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 you're not gonna fucking just go at Fondora and try to take him out, I'd rather hey, look that, now I know you got four minute strategies based on the fighter you have. Mm-hmm. But if you just have a a basic ass creative character dude and he's decent on the outside and he has a good work rate and some stamina and some fucking maybe some decent power go right into Fondora's shit mm-hmm. in and out yeah you gotta make up so you, bomb you, him out get out years were shaving off from, uh, Lubin's career huh yeah no yeah Lubin, he, did. Yeah, he got some years shaving off like easy like, like you know still, that's kind of sad the championship I mean championship dreams are probably you know 
over. I mean, let's put it this way. I mean, it, like, honestly, it, it really depends because some number one, like Lubin, I, I always thought Lubin was a skill, a skill guy, but just chinny. But I don't know what the hell, what happened to his boxing IQ. It's like, I, I don't know, like, if you're eating seven uppercuts in a row, like, what the fuck are you doing? Like, yeah. It, it's, it's, it, it, okay, he took a really bad beating and he's already chinny as it is. Like, he's not, I don't think he's gonna, I don't think he's gonna, he's gonna take punches well again. Like, it, just, just the fact. And I don't even think he's chinny chinny like that. Like I think his chin is like maybe a six. Because if he was chinny, I think dudes would have been one punch knocking his ass out already. And he's at one fifty four. Where he fought enough guys who could crack. Well, I mean, in my case, I mean, I always think I mean chinny because in this case too, I, mean, I always say better beef is a little chinny at first too. Like because better beef can be caught cold. Better beef has been down twice. Like, he I took always- a while to warm up. He like Marquez. Like I don't call that chinny. That's more like. A slow engine or some shit. That's that's that Pontiac eighty nine Pontiac that you got to heat up outside. <laughs> yeah, but but Lubin now, I mean, honestly, he probably will be chinny for real. Like if you, you know, like yeah, I, I agree with that. I, I can agree with that. I mean, his face. I mean, like his, I mean, I mean, his face was was a mess. Like er, er, just look at him. Like he doesn't look. Was, the, he doesn't, you smiling. can't even recognize him. You can't recognize him. Nigga was an emoji of pain. Like if you put that as an emoji, that, like, <laughs> pain, like yeah, that's what it is. Like, like dude, like I mean, I couldn't like if he was smiling, you wouldn't be able to tell. Like that's how bad, that's how fucked up he got. Like you couldn't tell who it was. Yeah, yeah you can't tell. Like, I'm just looking at this picture right now. You can't even tell it's Lubin. Yeah, like it, it was, it, it, it was bad. Like, and, and hopefully, like you know, someone tells him, look, look, Lubin, like we need to, we need to work on moving your head. Like you know, because yeah, that would be a start. Because I'm honestly, if he goes for it, because else, like I said, you know. <clears throat> else, is, else is gonna be rough for him to continue, especially. With oh, he, he is who he is right now, just like Pandora is who he is. Yeah, like, but at least Pandora, like I said, Pandora, well, sorry, and now Pandora is now he's he's gonna be a Mando for whoever wins between Charlo Castano, and then even then that fight that fight won't happen until next year because you know there'll be you know so Pandora obviously needs to be back in the ring probably sometime summertime at least. You know, give them. Who want to take a chance? Like, yeah, like Fondora is like food in a way. Yeah, but if you don't, if, but yeah, if you don't, if you don't fight him right, you'll just you, you'll walk into his will. And the funny thing is too, is Fondora <clears throat> is so unassuming. Like, you see him, like you see like dude being these dude in almost high water pants and polos and shit with his glasses on and how he talks. You wouldn't you wouldn't expect that this nigga is a killer. Like, <laughs> that's that's how it be, man. That's why you don't fuck with nobody. You don't fuck with people, man. <laughs> Yeah, like for, like for girl, you know, he let people live. Yeah, and it's funny too, how he's talking. It's like you know, dude, kid, dude, nearly, um, you know, like broke somebody's face, but he's over here talking, just you know, talking real, real smart and intelligent, like, like, like he like. And he smiles. Well, he look that kid loves to fight. Yeah, going in his damn wheelhouse and and going on the inside. Mm-hmm. The only person I think who could beat him on the inside, or at least stands a chance. Con- Conwell does. Mm-hmm. At least it stands a chance. And Castaño. Right. That's it. Mm-hmm. And as far as from the outside, I feel like a lot of people have the chance, but they gotta be willing to 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 have that work rate throughout the fight. Either and that, then, or either that, or physically, if they have his reach, like Jamonte Clark had an eighty inch reach too, which is the reason right. why. Which is the reason why. That all that know nullif- why he was able to nullify all of Fondora's big strengths. You but know? see, Claude played to his strengths too. Yeah. L- Lubin didn't do that. Look, you fighting a taller guy who can't react to your punches that well on the outside because he's clumsy or whatever the fuck. See, Fondora has to stay close to you because that's easier for him to touch you. He squares up, he can hit you with both hands. Right. He's not gonna fucking you know, box you from the side from a distance. Like his jab don't sting like don't pop like that. Right. His elbows be out like dude, you'll eat him up. He's slow as shit. <laughs> and he's a giant target. Like you can really the, the same shit you can do to Benavidez you could do to him. But I feel like Benavidez just hits harder and quicker hands. And he's yeah. meaner than Fundora. Absolutely. But it's the same that they both got the same flaws. I think Benavidez has better footwork though. Mm-hmm. Like he could move around a little bit better than Fondora, but yeah, no Benavidez footwork is actually his biggest, biggest for a guy who's that you know. Yeah, like, yeah, it's, it's, actually, it's actually one of his biggest flaws, uh, biggest strength. Excuse me. 
strength. So strength. So yeah, I mean, that, yeah, Fondora move around like the giant Ryan Garcia. <laughs> <laughs> Play for the damn Los Angeles Golden Boys. <laughs> Yo, facts. <laughs> That's straight facts. Yo, but it's that- crazy, man. I love this fight, man. Uh, shout out to my sister. She's about the only other person I know who picked Fondora for this fucking fight. Like, besides myself, like, Lubin L- won it. Shit, your, sister to, your sister needs to come on the show and rock with us then. She be, nah, I know, nah. Just be busy, man. Those auditions, those actress auditions and shit, man. You know, if, if she wants to be busy, busy. Man, she needs to come rock with us. <laughs> yeah, he called me on talking about, oh, who you got for Farm Door and Lubin? I'm trying to bet. I'm like, Farm Door. She's like, shit, man. Now find me one of these niggas who, who think Lubin going to win. I'm like, man. Like, that's everybody. Like, <laughs> <laughs> you can't find somebody because <laughs> it's like everybody was like and, and and for good reason like lubin had all the skills and attributes to win right. it like it's it just he had he even had the coaching like he had everything and just didn't li- and didn't utilize not one fucking bit of it yeah for and, whatever fucking reason <laughs> thank you and and him getting the knockdown and buzzing uh fondora so many times for show for proof of what we're saying mm-hmm. it's not like one of those where like well he never did this so you can't say that like nah he actually had this nigga out at several times exactly <laughs> we, we can fucking say that <laughs> so so let me ask y'all this um lubin come back at 154 or, or come back at 160 next year if he can still uh, make 154, just come back in 154. Yeah, 154. Yeah, like I, I wouldn't move him up because like he didn't because uh, he didn't have any trouble making the weight. Like I mean, he can't not, move down. Not just a late. Come on, stop. Like Lubin's up. Lubin would be a big fucking 147 pounder. Like bro. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Like he's he's easily bigger than guys like Thurman and uh, Danny Garcia and shit. Right. Yeah, like he, like, he's that he's more like Crawford size, and he's bigger than Crawford. Like he's more like fucking Josh Taylor his size. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I honestly, I would definitely. Keep, I mean, one fifty four is, is is a is the right division for him right now. Like, I mean, he's not. I mean, like, like, like he's not getting knocked around because he's getting drained and shit like that. He's getting knocked around because he can't move his he, head. Dude, but dude, he's gonna be out for like how long? Like, oh, yeah, he's gonna knows? be out for a while. Yeah, yeah. He's, like, he's gonna be able to get down to one fifty four the first fight. I mean, unless he wants to test the waters, like I mean, some people do. Like I mean, unless he, you know, yes, yeah, that's, that's true. You know, uh, let me one, one more question for y'all. What's that? J Rock versus versus Lubin. Who wins? Oh man. I was just thinking about that one actually. <laughs> oh shit! Hey, Lubin, I, Lubin. I pick Lubin. I, I go with Lubin too. Yeah. Lubin. Oh wow! Wow! <laughs> oh, shit. Honestly, I think Lubin would actually stop him. <laughs> wow! 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 Oh shit! Y'all think it's on one? Well, uh, only because J. Uh, and the reason why is because J. Rock and like I said, J. Rock. It's now. It's hard to because Jerock has some skills. Some oh shit! Oh no! God damn it! Oh. <sighs> Sorry about that. You know my echo dot came off and it just said Jerock. Yeah, whatever that's true, that's fucking right. music was that? Yeah, I don't know what the what the fuck this shit was playing, but yeah, no, it's, it's Jerock. Uh, Jerock is a good boxer or whatever. But for some reason, like in this, I mean, pretty much, I think now it's just the herd fight is just it's this starting to look like an anomaly in in, in his record. It's a hell of an anomaly. <laughs> yeah, it is though. But it's do that, and then, but then you having Hernandez put his foot in his ass. It's just like I can't confidently pick. So I can't confidently pick. That Hernandez like that. fought the fight of, fight of his life too, though. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, Lupin looked like I wouldn't be surprised if Hernandez gave that game Lupin the hard. Uh, Night that fight. Yeah, but but there's there's, there's something about J Rock though that just says that that screams shaky and even more shaky. So, than Lubin. Let me ask you this: Is Lubin in the same room as uh Heard and J Rock that Tony Harrison was able to avoid? Yes, pretty much. For now, oh, no, what do you mean? Like they're like they're pretty much done. You know what I mean? Oh no, oh, not oh. done. They're shaky uh, right now. They're, 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 they're Tony Harrison. He he came back. Like Tony Harrison is top ten now. Like he he. He kind of bounced back. Like yeah. in a perfect world, he would give uh, Perella a rematch, or if he ever won a belt, he would do it. Or he got a chance. Like 
I said perfect world, but he he kind of redeemed himself. But yeah, her yeah, Herd has not redeemed a goddamn thing. Yeah. Neither is J Rock. <laughs> so yeah, Lubin has to be, now, now Lubin has to be rebuilt. He, he's gonna he's, yeah, he's not even yeah. Like I think Herd and Rock are already kind of rebuilt. They just have to redeem themselves. Mm-hmm. Like Lubin has to be rebuilt. Like redeem himself, we haven't. Even, don't even worry about him redeeming himself at this point, right? <laughs> like, he, he he just redeemed himself from the Charlo loss. Like this is a whole nother redemption tour, right? Yeah, because now it's just like it's after after an ass whooping like that. Uh, yeah, I mean because because now because I mean the Chinny thing obviously getting getting wiped out in one round, but now taking a huge brutal beating. Yeah, no, yeah, dude is. Uh, yeah, dude is uh yeah, he's gonna he, he needs some serious rebuilding right now. Yeah. As once he heals up, of course. <laughs> it's, he ain't gonna, he ain't gonna see him until about a year, man. Yeah, he's he's not I mean I, I don't expect he's not gonna fight again this year. If he does, I'll be surprised. Nah. nah. Might come back like on some Bachel shit though. Yeah. No, nah, no, nah, nah, we don't need that. We don't need that. I mean we don't need it, but I'm just saying it's, it's get a it. possibility. <laughs> it's a possibility. Yeah, no, and like, like and my, think about it. Who who took a worse beating, the uh, uh, Bird Shelter from uh, Lubin? That's like the same level of those. Yeah, well, I mean, but at least you can recognize Bershelt's face after the ass woman he got. Lubin was that's true. Was, yeah, Lubin, you can't. That, that was that, that was. And at least Lubin gave us a fight of the year. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> you know, Bershelt was like a way bigger favorite than Lubin. All facts. <laughs> and it was the bigger fighter. Oh, wait. Facts. It was the reverse. <laughs> he was the looping. <laughs> Yo, yeah. But he was though. He was the front door that got looping. <laughs> like, damn, when I think about it, but yeah, like, yeah, but, yeah, yeah. but I hope I hope Lubin can bounce back. But it just the game is the game. It just don't look like it. I'm just being real, man. Yeah, like, uh, like, it, 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 like, I mean, Lubin, like, I mean, if they do, like, they really gotta, like, they have to lower his comp. They have to do a lot. Like, this, 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 this a lot of the different things gonna have to be done in order for yeah. Lubin to successfully come back and try to regain his standing, you know. But, but now after beating like that, yeah, like, if he, if he comes, if he comes back and wins the title, yeah, give him comeback fighter of the year, like, you know. But yeah, Lubin, is, yeah. Lubin is who he is right now, and. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's not necessarily a good thing. <laughs> this and point. Fondora, he, he is who he is, but he yeah. still got to improve because it only going to get harder from here. You think he's he's next? Uh, I think Madrimov might be a a, a a matchup they may have to make because I think Madrimov's a, a mandatory. Yeah, so um, so so is Tim Zhu. Uh, Tim, Tim Zhu is actually too, the yeah. first one because he's the first mandatory. He's the, you know, and then and then there's the I IBM think Tim Zhu could do what Lubin did in spurts. But do it for the whole fight mm. and get Fondora out of there. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, like yeah. The, cause it's gonna be interesting because like I said, because whoever's the undisputed champion, unless they decide to give up all their belts and go to 160 or whatever, I mean, probably more so for Charlo rather than Castano. You know, like I said, I mean, there, there be, there's gonna be some Mandos gonna be they're gonna be facing. So I mean. But yeah, that's why it's like, you know, it's good it's probably good for Fondora to probably get at least one more fight before his Mando shot comes up or for whatever. Uh, but yeah, it's, uh, yeah, I mean, Fondor, uh, it, it's a great victory and it's a victory that he, you know, that'll definitely put him in the mix that once before in terms of being upper level. But yeah, he still, he still needs some more work. To, <laughs> in the do. mix, he, he's right at the doorstop, really. Like, he, he been in the mix. Like, now he's like, he, he's in the cup getting stirred. Like, he on the table now. Yeah, it, Easily, easily, easily. Uh, he's he's still he's a dangerous to both champions right now, and a lot of other and other Mandos too. He's and, uh, and that's the respect I'll give him. Like he's incredibly dangerous, and he, and, he, and, and, and and he's so fucking skinny and wiry too. He shouldn't be. <laughs> but that's you know. I will punch a hole through this dude. I only just imagine if he start tearing off and try to clip this dude. Like, so that's yeah. a, that, was, is that a good win for Fundero? I mean, a quality win. Oh yeah, fuck yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. absolutely. <laughs> Let's make it sure. Let's make it sure. Yeah, no, it, you, 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 I mean, I picked up the win. You know, I'm gonna fucking say it was a quality win. I'll be like, nah, you know what? <laughs> it wasn't because the fight was too evenly matched up. <laughs> nah, I'm like, nah, that's some elitist like, yeah. bullshit. 
Qual- quality win. And I, and I quality. It's, it's one of the better wins for like, these young young fighters that have right now. Right. It's what we want to see. Dudes need to damn start eliminating each other at the top so you have a clear contender. So, like, right now, Fondora and Tim Zhu are literally the next up, like, I guess, for uh to go against the champs, in my opinion. Like, right. they, they still are work in progress, but they've earned the status of being next up. Like, you could say they top five. Absolutely. Uh, but yeah, I, yeah, I, I, yeah, I, I personally, I can't wait though. I mean, like I said, one fifty, one fifty four is still, it's still an incredibly quality division. Like it, like I said, nothing, ever, nothing ever changes. Like one fifty four is like we actually like, you know, when they say one a division like one forty seven or heavyweight is, is is moving. No, one one fifty four it moves the way it's supposed to move. Like it's oh, like you know, most people are like oh no, there's not enough, there's not enough whole thing, there's not enough pound for pound talent in there. Because they are fighting, all the all the top all the top contenders that we all see their champions, they are fighting, they are fighting each other, and they are. It's, like, it's hard. You have to be super special to look pound for pound special when you're fighting guys who's on your level, back to back, back to back. Back, it's to been, back. I mean, what, you're talking about one fifty four, right? Yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. To me, it's been the most consistent in the deepest division since like you know the past five years. I feel like right, exactly. So you can go back on ten years. <laughs> <laughs> and, and honestly, the bigger fights, the big fights at 154, just they just get made faster than they would at 147 or 160. Yes, sir. Mm, they do. Think about it. We we coming from Trinidad Vargas, fucking down De La Hoya Vargas, all these shits. Shane mm-hmm. Mosley, Winky, one two, like all these shit. Yes, sir. Like it's, it's, it's crazy. Like you always like. 154 gave you the most bang for your buck. Absolutely. Most often. Like, and it's just what it is. It's like, if, if you're a boxing fan, like, 154 gotta be one of your favorite divisions. Yeah, it definitely is. I, 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 pretty much now, it's like, if I if I see it's a 154 fight, like, oh, yeah, then yeah. I, I already know off record. I mean, it, like, it takes it takes a lot for me to shit on a 154 fight. And it, it does. Really, you could grab any six fighters from the top twenty in that division and make a good card. Right. That's how good that division. Is. Yeah, just like last night, it was a pretty solid card, you know. And it's all one fifty four. It was all one fifty four. Yeah, it's all yep. junior, junior. You you got a boxing clinic, a fight of the year, and what else? You got uh, controversial. Controversial. And a controversial competitive fight. Competitive yeah. fight. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, what else you want? Like. You probably wanted the KO with it too. But, uh, hey. Absolutely. Somebody else gave us that. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, but yeah. Overall, the weekend was enjoyable, you know. And then the stuff, and then the fights we did, you know, we didn't preview, and but we, did, you know, that did happen. Like you know, like uh, Michaela Mayer and Jennifer Hahn, you know, like I said, it went as expected. But you know. But yeah, Mayor actually showed a mean streak and put uh, put her foot in his ass. Like, I heard she whooped that ass. Yeah, she whooped yeah. that ass. Right? So she folded her up like that dude on that um, I'm about it movie with Master P and like <laughs> stuffed her in a trunk. <laughs> One thing I want to mention on the top rank, uh, I wish Duke Reagan had a little bit more pop to him. Yeah, Duke Reagan, you know, has skills, but yeah, I think he has to grow into his man in his man strength. Yeah, he's got no uh, sense to pop right now. Though. And and in salute and in salute for uh, Floyd Cashflow Diaz for scoring a mean uh, highlight body yeah, shot that knockout. Nice. That was nice. Absolutely. Shout out to my Rams fan. He was rocking the Rams gear when he walked. Yeah. <laughs> oh, of course, you. Of course, you, you would. You would like that. <laughs> of course, shit. <laughs> shit. <laughs> you know, but uh, but you know, yeah. Top, let's say top. It was a jobber fest for the most part. You know, but like I said, you know, that's where we didn't preview it. But it was it made for some it still made for some good watching here and there. Yeah, it, it was like one of those label compilations where like you know they was gonna write write everybody off as taxes, so they kind of just put some features together. <laughs> it would have got more shine. If it, was, if it was on Friday, it would have got a little bit more shine, maybe. Yeah, probably. I, I think so too. Yeah, I would have been more like okay, probably would have talked about it. Cause, yeah. cause, Mayor Hand was was entertaining and it was competitive. It's just somebody clearly got their ass whooped too, though. Yeah, because um, 
Han definitely fought better than she did against Katie Taylor. But then sure. I remember, I think she was coming from more the pregnancy weight, all that shit. Yeah, she said she lost because they said and that she lost like she she lost. I think it was over a hundred pounds or some shit like that. God damn, something like that. I was like, what did you carry? <laughs> no, no, serious. Like babies don't be weighing that much. Like, yeah, but food. You know, sometimes you eat a lot of food, it, it accumulates too. <laughs> and you train, like nigga, like yeah. She said, yeah, she said, yeah, she trained because because you know she said you know boxing that like, opportunities of boxing hasn't come and she, she literally couldn't turn it down. So she made she put herself through the ringer and that's why her performance was so bad against Katie Taylor. So that don't explain why Katie Taylor's performance was so bad either. <laughs> <laughs> Because Katie yeah. Taylor didn't look great in that fight. Also facts. So, yeah. you know, I appreciate Mary for, you know, saying, fuck it, I got two belts. I'm going to stomp her ass out. And that's what she did. Like, she was there throwing hooks, uppercuts, jabs. Like, dog, okay, the, we got pilot. Just if you can get highlights to the fourth and the ninth round, yeah, that's yeah. all you need to see. Because the fourth watch, round. Yeah, so I know, I know real quick, I know. Women ESPN dropped their top five pound for pound list, top ten. So they had Katie, Amanda Serrano, Shields, Mascasco, and Makai, um, Mayor fifth. Yeah, I think I can agree with that. that. I think they should, they should put Estrada above Mascasco though. And there, there was no Savannah Marshall, which I kind of like, kind of like. Yeah. Ah, Mascasco, nah, Mascasco is undisputed. No, I'm not saying I'm not. I said Marshall, not Mascasco. No, 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 no. Because Pilot said um. Estrada should be where McCaskill at. Like, six. They had Estrada. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Never mind. They had Bobby. And I was just like, ah. I mean, I like Estrada too. Like, I think she's better, but uh, they had Estrada. The break his fights was big. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's true. But yeah, man, the fourth, the fourth and the ninth round, Mayor like gets on against the rope and starts beating the shit out of her. Like, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Like, yeah, Mayor made uh, Han bleed her own blood, and I appreciate that. I still, I, 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 I'm still not a fan of Mayor, but I can appreciate that. <laughs> yeah, the good old fashioned ass whooping ain't hurt nobody too right. much. And then also, just to quickly mention before we get up out of here, yes, there is another card next weekend. Uh, you know, from you know, one from Mr. Eddie Hearn, aka Fast Eddie. You know, with Kyle <sighs> Ben faces Chris Van Heerden. Yeah, yeah, and like I said, I wish. I mean. Ben I like, is. I like Ben though, so I'm not gonna. Yeah, you know, ben, you know, ben is what you know, is an entertaining fighter for the most part, but yeah, I, I have, I have zero interest in watching him or talk uh, previewing the fight with him facing Van Heerden, who has not had a, a notable victory at Wel at welterweight to date. He's known for. Yeah. So yeah, Eddie needs to get better. Like if you're trying to build up someone like that, like you got to find better welterweights, and you have better welterweights. You know? Oh, hold on, he Maurice Hooker got hurt. So that was one person they tried, but it's like after that day, it's like they stopped trying like immediately. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, Van, H Van Hitten has never been popping like that. The or not, he's not even known as a good gatekeeper. <laughs> so it's like uh, David uh, Evanesian. Uh, 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 yeah, Evanesian. He was available. I mean, you know, that's who, honestly, that's who that fight should have been for. Like, that's a real test for. Um, Anybody in the top ten welterweight, maybe. right? A great test for a guy like Ben. So that, with that being said, I mean, obviously we think Ben should actually push should probably KO him, but if Ben, yeah, I mean, this guy, good. this guy, Spence lived over since twenty fifteen, so he should be. Yeah. So yeah. So uh, so I'm I'm not gonna be too. Yeah. I'm I'm, I'm trusting. I'm gonna be harsh if this nigga struggles with this guy. Like, nah, that's not gonna. That's that's that, should, that shouldn't happen. It should never happen, actually. <laughs> you yeah, know, hold on, like. Well, like Danny Garcia harsh or like well like I said uh, Van Heerden hasn't had I mean, harsh. <laughs> we, we, we can't name a good victory that Van Heerden has had at Welterweight he's been in this he's been in the game for a while so yeah so I'm not gonna so Ben yeah he's not even Josito Lopez though. to me yeah, like, 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 Ben's like David Avis Nason like people try to hump up pipe up uh, David Avis Nason but I'm not a huge fan of that guy it's six, seven, actually has, he, he actually has he actually has a win though like he's got a win but, yeah Avanesian's you know? actually streaking right now like there's nothing Van Heerden wishes he, he, he had a streak like that <laughs> <laughs> if it, if it, so it's just like yeah if ben if ben struggles with this guy i'm just gonna be like remember oh. we were saying that was a better evan Eason was a better fight for thurman than damn um barrios yeah, yeah. That's true. 
and I, and I would still take that fight over the fucking name that I'm seeing bandied around the yeah, alley beat Spencer's old man though yeah 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 hey, yeah, yeah absolutely yeah that yeah that one and unfortunately the, the account that report that is usually a, a reputable one too so yeah I, I that's go, trash yeah, yeah well, so, it's, 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 so fighting guys off fighting guys on this level that's coming off losses the fuck yeah, honestly, if that if that fight is a thing, I probably won't want to preview that fight. I'm just, I, it'll probably just be a mention. Like seriously, no, that's not for you to decide. That's for <laughs> that's for you. To <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'll, I'll just, King P and Pilot and I will take a vote, and you know we'll decide if we preview that or not. Now, well, I will. I'll just be like, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll be like, yeah, like I mean, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna pretend to preview the fight. I know, you know, that's not really on the level on on paper. You know? <laughs> Nah, he like yo. We would do the whole episode, and then he would like hit up PJ like behind the scenes. Also, like yo, don't even worry about that one. Like, <laughs> yeah, I just I, won't I, go I, through I, the motions because these niggas fans. Yeah, I, 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 I'd probably go mute and just be like eh, until 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 the, until the next topic. <laughs> God damn, that's nigga. You a Terminator hater, nigga. Like no, I don't hate Terminator. I, I don't want to. You can say something like, like shit. No, I mean, I, w- I was against the Barrios fight. I didn't like that fight, and I first time don't like don't wa- don't like this fight. <laughs> you don't like nothing. No, I thought. I mean, I, I like the Jose Cito Lopez fight. Yeah. So, yeah. so like, I mean, like, like I said, I'm not a Thurman hater. I'm far from a Thurman hater. You know, I don't. Uh, I, I, I I I I keep on saying that. Like said, Thurman was probably the best out of that group of PBC welterweights. You know, just make it sure you you know. You know, prior to him, you know, going, you know, get into shopping cart accidents and shit like that. You know, so, you know, so yeah, I nigga, mean, like I, I, shopping cart accidents, like a real like niggas be leaving carts all over the fucking parking lot down here. Like, yeah, but then niggas, but but then, but then a world class fighter gets injured off some bullshit. Like, come on now, and it happens. Like, well, this nigga, like he he killed off his that's yeah. a, nigga. That's the game. Yeah, yeah, and I had to, and, you know, I had to get my money refunded because I actually bought tickets to see his fight in Connecticut, in my fucking home state at the time. Just so did like, I, and I got him refunded, thankfully. Yeah, so did I too. But that was see, like, that, that was, see, that's part of the refund game. Like, like <laughs> yeah. don't owe you shit, bro. Like, <laughs> this nigga, this nigga. imagine you, you you in Connecticut to see a Florida nigga fight that you hate, dog. Like, nah, nigga, like. I'm no, a, I'm hitting on the I'm, 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 I'm hitting on the shopping cart that nigga. Why this nigga got injured by one, nigga? That's the one I'm this motherfucker don't fight in South Florida. I'm, I'm the victim here, shit. <laughs> 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 and motherfuckers call me fucking. Oh, you dirt me. Oh, you little. Th-. I'm like, nigga, I'm older than this motherfucker. Like, how the hell y'all like? Cause you you move around in boxing. You got the ponytail. You got braids. What the fuck? Like, no. Nah, <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! That 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 wacky Keith Thurman. He's always into some shit. <laughs> Shopping carts, man. I'm telling you, like I don't like. You you know how they had that that one that thing where they don't go past a certain part in the parking lot, like yeah, because the wheels stop moving because of the yeah you know, that's, that's on the wheels, yeah. <laughs> And then some of the muffins will start dragging them shits just to get, <laughs> they don't give a fuck. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, wow. Damn, see, Thurman, what you do? Like, we can't even mention you if I'm fucking tired of your name with fucking shopping carts. Costco. <laughs> Costco. <laughs> Costco Keith. <laughs> oh, man. But, uh, yeah, I think. Yo, uh, Costco's be packed, though. Like, I can, like, you've ever been to a fucking Costco parking lot? Them bitches be flooded, so hey. Yeah, that's off back. So yeah, Costco. Yeah, because the Costco's I grew up around. Yeah, it was always that and the gas station too, because the gas was so fucking cheap too over there. Yeah, I don't want people just thinking like this motherfucker was in some deserted strip mall and the yeah. shopping cart just fell out the air like a piano in some cartoon or some shit. No, because <laughs> y'all said I don't. I hate ass niggas start thinking about some shit like that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, man, I don't like this non body shot taking motherfucker. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, but yeah, no, yeah. It, this this was a good cast, you know. It was a lot of semantic battles, and you know, got bars in for this shit, and you know, and yes, you know, our little preview for Spence Ugas. Now, it's a, obviously, it'll be a treat if Spence Ugas turns out to be something 
wacky. And this is honestly that's a pay per view that they need to throw in the movie theaters. Hopefully they, you know, they get their mind right on that. You know, but, if Brian uh, Garcia gets to be fighting in movie theaters, I'll be damned if Spence in a unification fight can't. I'm saying like. Uh, I, I would love, I, I would love to go spend a Saturday night and you know watching that shit in the theater, you know. But that car too trash to put that for a theater, though. I'm gonna be honest. Yeah, I, I'd rather. I mean, I'd rather pay what either uh, they usually charge it depending on nine to thirteen bucks depending on wherever you go. I, I'd rather, I, I, I'd rather spend that than spend eighty bucks on watching it at home. Like, no, <laughs> nah, 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 we're not doing that. <laughs> but, Damn, eighty bucks. Oh. God, they be raping motherfuckers with these shits. Yeah, man, this is this is a, it's a wild era for 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 for, for boxing. You know, pay, all these platforms, but pay per view is still a thing for various reasons, and I, I won't get into that. Eventually, we will get into that why pay per view being like having such a resurgence as of late, especially oh, on, yeah. especially on, especially on podcast going to have damn pay per view. Yeah, right. <laughs> God willing, and we got a special guest with us, but you know you have to put like twenty nine ninety nine in here so you can unlock it. <laughs> the Rome's clean come up. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you'll be able to ask. You'll be able to ask at least three questions. You know, and a little bit. In you know, charge another couple more if you want to answer. We'll ask them more. You know, shit like that. Then you got 10 more minutes to put in $5 and then we'll bring on PJ. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, shit. Time man. different speed. Be like, all right, we'll bring Prolific out. Like, what's good? Like, <laughs> like that's what it's going to be. Like, watch. One of the folks going to start charging for to listen to podcasts. That's coming. It, it is. It, remember this. Remember this podcast. Remember this episode. Remember who oh, is going to be like sitting there like, yeah, we going to bring in so-and-so. <laughs> yeah, remember where you heard that from? Ring Gang Radio. <laughs> oh, man, this is a great show, man. Um, so, yeah, for final thoughts. So, P, so P do, you have some, do you have any final thoughts, bro? I mean, you know what it is. You know, Ring Gang Radio all day, every day, twice on Sundays. Ring Gang Radio all day, every day, twice on Sundays. You know what it is. Yes, uh, great great weekend of boxing a whole lot of boxing uh yeah uh, let's hope for let's hope for some more good weeks because this is a stack this is a stacked month so you know uh, let's 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 enjoy it let's keep enjoying it while it lasts you know what i'm saying so fuck with us you know where to find us at ringgangradio.com instagram youtube twitter facebook you already know what it is fuck with us absolutely hey yo pilot man your final thoughts Oh man, this is a great cast. This is a great weekend of boxing. Too much to keep up with, but you know, we love this shit. That's why we do it. Um, it. You know, early cast for once. I was up for it. Not too early, but you know, <laughs> just happy to be here, discuss boxing with the boys and ringing radio across every platform imaginable. You know what it is, bro. There we go. That's what it is. Uh, LB, your final thoughts? Oh man, this is echoing these niggas. Great weekend of boxing. It was low on the fuckery end, and just with you know with the scorecard. So thank God it wasn't crazy with that. But um, still weird as head. Um, great performances. Um, shout out to the B side of those uh, main events because y'all y'all went through some shit. Mm-hmm. So um, I just hope everybody's able to recover and rebound. And go on with their career and make money and live their life and be safe and just keep repping the sport, you know. When we live for these days, man, where you have a full Saturday of boxing and got it from sun up to sun fucking down. Absolutely. It's a beautiful thing. But uh just make sure you logged in and you know, you tap in with us whatever social media platform, TikTok, you know, be putting up clips, all that shit. The cartoon we working on and there's more shit on the way man it is uh artwork on deck you know shout out to everybody who be rocking with us in here listening to us on um, kenny gosling kenny B, joshua o miss 702 salute and everybody on automatic around the world fucking with us and keep downloading our shit listen to us on spotify and anchor and Apple and all that shit, man. We worldwide. We ain't just on fucking YouTube. 
Yes, sir. But you can fuck with us on that too, though. Yeah, of course. But yeah, uh, I, I guess uh, Pat, take it away. Uh, give the drummer some love. I, I don't know what y'all say. You know. <laughs> well, I don't have too much. You know, I don't have too much more to say. You know, other than you know, just to you know, ring gangs the squad, man. Shout out to everyone. You know, and uh, yeah, man. If you know, we're everywhere. Type in Ring Gang Radio on Google. You know, especially you know, see our, our the web page and our YouTube, especially you know, to tell your friends about the YouTube. You know, so they can listen, like, and comment, and then they can subscribe, and then we can all be friends, you know, because like I said, we do this shit for y'all, man, and uh, the one random thing, uh, Morbius is a very mid-movie, and there's no way, in you know, should we ever see a PG-13 vampire movie, like, never, ever, 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 ever should ever see that. You know, so yeah, temper your expectations if you want to see that, if, you, if you're looking to, you know, looking to go catch that. Um, or just see Sonic Two. Yeah, which I I, <laughs> I I plan on doing that this evening since we did an early cast and everything like that. Yes. Yeah, you know, <laughs> so yeah, you know, to to wipe my mind of of watching a tw- uh, no, a Marvel movie that's like that's like Twilight. Like nah, we we good. <laughs> hey, man, just rock on out with all the chaos and and you know catch that vibe. <laughs> exactly, with Robotnik and whatnot, man. So yeah, so for myself. You know, Pat Scorpio, the England representative for LB Shuttle with the God the Goat Artist, for King People, Dega P, and for Conscious Pilot. You know, this has been another wonderful episode of Real Talk, where, as always, if shit's real, we talk about it. So, until next time, peace. Peace.